In this video, we are going to learn how to draw a shear force diagram and bending movement diagram for a simply supported beam as shown in figure. So the statement is given as draw shear force and bending movement diagram for a simply supported beam AB 5 meter long is loaded as shown in figure. So this is the simply supported beam AB of length 5 meter and carrying a uniformly distributed loads of 20 kN per meter over a length of 5 meter and there is one point load of 45 kN is acting on the beam at point C. So for this setup, we have to draw the shear force diagram and bending movement diagram. So first of all, I will draw the free body diagram for this beam section. So for solving this numerical problem, First, we have to convert this uniformly distributed loads into point load. So to convert this, I will multiply this UDL value with the length over which the UDL act. So here I will get the converted point load of 100 kN. Now this converted point load is acting on the midpoint of the length over which this UDL acts. Now this type of problem, we are going to solve in 3 steps. In the first step, we have to calculate the values of support reaction forces R and RB. So to calculate these values, I will use two equations of equilibrium. That is first equation is summation of Fy equal to 0. That means addition of all the forces in the vertical axis equal to 0. And the second equation is summation of moment equal to 0. So here in the first equation, while I am doing the addition of all the vertical forces, I will consider upward forces as positive and downward forces as negative. Here R and RB are the vertical reaction forces. So as per the sign convention, I will add these forces with positive sign. And the point load of 45 kN is acting on the beam in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will add this force with negative sign. And the converted point load of 100 kN is acting on the beam in the downward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will add this force with negative sign. Therefore, after calculating, this will get the equation that is Ra plus Rb equal to 145 kN. So I will give this as equation number 1. Now the next equation is summation of moment equal to 0. So for calculating moment, either we can take moment at point A or at point B. And here my sign convention would be clockwise moment as positive and anticlockwise moment as negative. So for taking moment at point A, I will fix beam at point A. Now here 45 kN force will be pushing this beam towards downward. So it rotates the beam clockwise from fixed point. And as per the sign convention, for clockwise movement, I will add this force with positive sign. Now as per decided, movement is force into distance from fixed point. So here plus 45 kN is the force into 2 meter is the distance from fixed point. And here converted point load of 100 kN will be pushing this beam towards downward. So it rotates the beam clockwise from fixed point. And for clockwise movement, I will add this force with positive sign. And the movement is forced into distance from fixed point. So here plus 100 kN is the converted point load into 2.5 meter is the distance from fixed point. Now here reaction force RB will be pushing this beam towards upward. So it rotates the beam anticlockwise from fixed point. So as per the sign convention, for anticlockwise movement, I will add this force with negative sign. And as per decided, movement is forced into distance from fixed point. So here minus RP is the force into 5 meter is the distance from fixed point. So these are the moments so therefore, by calculating, 
This will get the reaction force Rb as 68 kN. Now I will put this value of Rb in equation number 1. And after calculating, this will get the value of reaction force Ra as 77 kN. So now with the help of these calculated values of Ra and Rb, I will further calculate the values of shear forces at all the points of beam. So the next step is calculations of shear forces. And for shear force calculations, our sign convention is upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces are considered as negative. And here you should note that while calculating the shear force at a particular point load, you can calculate shear force values for left side and right side of that particular point load. But while calculating the shear force at a uniformly distributed load, you should calculate shear force values at start point and end point of uniformly distributed load. That is shear force at point C and shear force at point D we need to calculate. But here at point A and at point B there are support reaction forces R and RB which are the point loads and since these are the point loads hence as per the rule for point load I will calculate the shear force values at left side and right side of point A and point B. Now at point C there is a point load. Hence as per the rule for point load I will calculate the shear force values at left side and right side of point C. First to calculate shear force at point A to its left that is SF at A to the left equal to. So as you can see there is no any force is acting at the left side of point A. Therefore, SF at A to the left equal to 0. So, to draw the shear force diagram, I will first draw a horizontal reference line of 0 kN shear force. So, here I will mark this point of 0 kN shear force on the reference line. Now, if I go to the section to the right side of point A, that is SF at A to the right equal to, then there is reaction force RA which is acting on the beam in the upward direction. So as per the sign convention, I will consider upward forces as positive. So here the shear force is plus 77 kN. Here as the shear force value is positive. So I will mark this point above the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And I will connect these two points with a vertical line. Now at point C, there is a point load. So first to calculate shear force at point C to its left that is SF at point C to its left equal to and here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point A to its right which is 77 kN and to the left side of point C there is UDL of 20 kN per meter. So I will convert this AC portion of UDL into point load that is UDL of 20 kN per meter multiplied by distance 2 meter. Now this converted point load is acting on the beam in the downward direction and as per the sign convention I will consider downward force as negative. Hence I will add this point load with negative sign. Therefore after calculating this will get the shear force value equal to 37 kN. Here as the shear force value is positive Hence, I'll mark this point of shear force above the reference line of 0 kN shear force. And here the type of load is UDL over the length of 2 meter. Hence, to draw the shear force diagram, I will indicate UDL with an inclined line. So, I will connect these two points with an inclined line. Now, if I go to section to the right of point C, that is SF at point C to its right equal to so here I will carry forward previous value of shear force up to point C to its left that is 37 kN and when we move towards the right side of point C then there is one point load in downward direction. So as per the sign convention I will consider downward force as negative. So I will add this point load with negative sign. 
therefore after calculating this will get the shear force value as minus 8 kN here as the shear force value is negative hence i'll mark this point of shear force below the reference line of 0 kN shear force and i will join these two points with a vertical line now at point p there is reaction force rb therefore first to calculate shear force at point b to its left that is sf at p to the left equal to and here i'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point c to its right which is minus 8 kN and to the left side of point p there is udl of 20 kN per meter so i will convert this cb portion of udl into point load that is udl of 20 kN per meter multiply by distance 3 meter now this converted point load is acting on the beam in downward direction and as per the sign convention i will consider downward force as negative hence i will add this point load with negative sign therefore after calculating this will get the shear force value as minus 68 kN here as the shear force value is negative hence i'll mark this point below the reference line of 0 kN shear force and here the type of load is udl over the length of 3 meter hence to draw the shear force diagram i will indicate udl with inclined line so i'll connect these two points with inclined line now next to calculate shear force at point p to its right that is sf at point p to its right equal to so here i'll carry forward previous value of shear force up to point p to its left which is minus 68 kN and when we go to the right side of point b then there is reaction force rp in the upward direction so as per the sign convention i will consider upward forces as positive so i will add this point load with positive sign so here minus 68 plus 68 gives me the value of shear force at 0 kN so i'll mark this point of 0 kN shear force on the reference line and i'll connect these two points with a vertical line and here is shear force diagram what are the portion drawn above the reference line i will show this portion by positive sign at the portion which is drawn below the reference line i will show this portion by negative sign so here i have completed the shear force diagram now the next step is calculations of bending moments so bending moment at a section of beam is calculated as the algebraic sum of the moment of all the forces acting on one side of section so to calculate bending moments we can start either from left end of beam or from right end of beam so here i will start from left end of beam so whenever you are calculating the bending moments you should remember these conditions so here for simply supported beam the condition is at the ends of simply supported beam the bending moments will be zero so bending moment at point a and bending moment at point b will be zero so to draw the bending moment diagram firstly i will draw the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter so here i'll mark these values with the points on the reference line so now we have to calculate bending moment at point c so here in case of simply supported beam while you are doing the calculation for bending moment at a particular point you should always add moment of all the forces present either from left end of beam or from right end of beam up to that particular point at which you are calculating the bending moment and for bending moment calculation our sign convention is for sagging effect of beam the force is considered as positive and for hugging effect of beam the force is considered as negative so to calculate bending moment at point c that is beam surface c equal to here at left hand side of point c there is reaction force ra of 77 kN which is acting on the beam in the upward direction due to this force 
the beam shows sagging effect and for sagging effect of beam i will consider this force as positive so i will add this force with positive sign and as per decided the moment is forced into distance so i will multiply this force with the distance from point of action of force that is 2 meter and here from point a to point c there is udl of 20 kN per meter so first i will convert this ac portion of udl into point load that is udl of 20 kN per meter multiply by distance 2 meter due to this converted point load the beam shows hogging effect and for hogging effect of beam i will consider this converted point load with negative sign so i will add this converted point load with negative sign and i will multiply this force with the distance from point of action of force that is 1 meter therefore after calculating this will get the value 114 kN meter so as it is positive value of bending moment here shall mark this point of bending moment above the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter and here between point a and point c there is udl therefore to draw the bending moment diagram i will indicate udl with a parabolic curve hence i will join these two points with a parabolic curve and also between point c and point b there is udl hence i will join these two points with a parabolic curve now since i can see this bending moment diagram is drawn above the reference line of bending moment 0 kN meter hence i'll show this portion by positive sign so here i've completed the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam